Hey everybody. So today we are gonna talk about Lightburn. So Lightburn is one of the best programs out there for laser users. So one of the first stumbling blocks that most people run into is learning about machine origin, your job origin, and your different start positions. So let's talk about those now. So first things first, let's talk about machine origin. Machine origin and the way that Lightburn defines it is the spot where your laser goes to zero, zero. So X zero, Y zero. So with OM Tech machines specifically, because that's what I have, that is going to be the corner where the machine goes to home when it first turns on. So I'll take a look, we'll take a look at that. I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, so we're here looking at my 100 watt machine. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. And you can see the little red cube back here. There's one there and one right on the back of the gantry. This is where the laser head is going to home. So this is going to be considered my zero, zero point for X and Y. It then moves out to a predefined origin that was set on the machine. So this is probably the last place that I started a job from. So that is zero, zero. And we'll even look at the controller here. So it's showing me measurements here. So if I go ahead and bring this over, you can see this running down to zero and then go up to zero. So we got X and Y zero in that corner. Okay, so now if we are taking a look here at Lightburn, your machine origin is up here in the little button that is the wrench and screwdriver called device settings. So you pop in here and this is where your machine origin is set. So like I said on my machine, because it is in the back right corner where it is set to zero, zero on X and Y, this is the option that I select. Um, often I'll see other people have the left selected, but on my machine, because zero, zero is in the back right corner, this is what needs to be selected. So we go ahead and say, okay, there. So that is machine origin. We've got that covered. So the next thing that we want to talk about is all of these start positions and job origins. So we're going to start off talking about absolute coordinates. So absolute coordinates, we're going to say we go ahead and we throw a square out here on the laser bed. So this square, this is my laser bed here because I have referenced this square. It is going to, because it's an absolute coordinate, go and find that square where I am placing it on the laser bed here on the light burn screen. So if I go and I actually go and frame this, out on the actual laser bed, we will actually see, so I'm gonna click frame and it's gonna go out and it's gonna go find it down in that lower left corner. So now if I take this box and I move it up into the top right corner and then hit frame again, it's going to find the box out here. And then same thing if I move it down to say the bottom right corner, it's gonna do the same thing. It's gonna go and look for that box down here. So that's absolute coordinates. That is how it works. It is using a reference of your zero, zero position up in this top right corner, and then going out and finding wherever we put this item out on the, on the grid here. So the next item is going to be your current position. This is the one that I use the most 
because I like to be able to move my laser head to where I want something to start from and just go from there. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to move the laser head out into the middle of the area here and going to go ahead and hit frame. So this is framing from where the laser head actually sits right now. So there are these little buttons down here that will change where the laser is framing from. You can see this green square that's in the top right corner of this box. That is because I have this top right corner selected. If I select center, it now moves it to the center. So it's saying that the laser head is right here in the center and then it's gonna go out and frame this box. So now I'll go ahead and hit frame again. And so it moved out from the center frame the box and then went back to center. So then I can also do the same thing and say, hey, I wanna do this bottom right corner and say frame and it's gonna go from the bottom right corner and frame this square upwards. Okay, so we got the same thing there. And so now, so we could even say we wanna go from the opposite corner. And so now it's gonna frame it my direction Okay, and so that is how the current position works. Then the last one is your user origin. So user origin firstly runs off of selecting an origin on your laser bed. So the first thing that we would have to do is go out here and select an origin on the laser bed. So if we come over here and we move out and we say, hey, I want to select an origin right here, there's an origin button on the controller. You click origin and it saves that as an origin. So you can actually move away from that spot. And if you hit escape on the controller, it will move back. So I'll show that one more time. I'm just going to go to the random spot, hit escape, and it continues to move back to that origin. So now I'm gonna go ahead and even move this away from that corner. And if we go to the actual software and we say frame now using the, let's say a center position, it's gonna go back and find that origin off the center and then frame the box around it. So we'll go ahead and hit frame now. So it's using that landmark that we created to start the job from. So we can do the same thing, select any of these origin spots and it just changes where it's gonna say that, okay, now the origin is here. And you know, likewise, if we were to move it to any other spot around the bed. So we go ahead and frame. So now it's just giving us a different spot from that origin that we already set. If I go ahead and say escape, it'll move back to that origin spot. And I could even say, let's do the top left, frame that again. And so now it's framing it down, that box down lower. If I wanted to say, hey, let's do it from middle center, or sorry, bottom center, and then go frame. It's gonna go out around and then come back to that center bottom spot. So that is how those start positions and the job origins, that's what these are, these job origins down here. So you can use any one of these ellipse, ellipses or any one of these radial buttons to select where you want that job to start from. These are only active when you're using your user origin and your current position. So to recap, Absolute coordinates uses the reference from your home location up here in the top right corner for me. And then it will reference your entire bed wherever you place this object. It's gonna know where it wants you to put it and then it's gonna run out and go find it. Current position, this operates where your laser head is currently sitting and it is referencing this green dot as where your laser head is currently sitting. It doesn't matter where you put this box on the laser bed, you could put it off the, the actual grid. 
over here. And if I say frame right now, it will go and it will frame where the laser head currently sits. So I'll say that again. So you can put it off the grid over here and hit frame and it will still frame wherever the laser head currently sits. So you can see that right there. So right now I'm framing off the grid and it is still working as though it is sitting right in the middle of the bed because that's where the laser head is. And then same thing with your user origin, other than we are selecting a point that we want it to reference on the bed by clicking the origin button. And then you could do the same thing. Even though the box is sitting over here on the side, you hit frame and it's still framing off of that origin spot that we selected in the middle of the bed. All right, and that's a quick run through on how all of those pieces of light burn work, um, covering your machine origin, your start positions, and then all of your job origins. So like always, if this video was helpful to you, please like, subscribe, and we will see you on the next one.